Okay, so in this session, we're going to be using some selection. Selection is one of the big three key concepts in computing. One is sequence, two is repetition, and three is selection. Now, if you haven't already gone through those and understand what they mean, I'm going to give you a brief refresher, but it would definitely be worth you going and make sure that you are secure on knowing what those three things are. So, refreshing you on sequence. That's basically making sure things are always in the right order. If they're not in order, things could go very wrong. If you were making a cake, for example, and you got the recipe steps out of order, you might end up with a big mess that's not even cooked properly. The second one, repetition, that's when we use loops and we do things again and again and again. There's lots of different ways of doing repetition in Scratch. There is the forever loop where something will go on forever. There is the repeat for a number of times. So you can see in the control section there's repeat 10 and that will repeat it any number of times that you put in. And there's also a repeat until, which is where you can put something in that will stop that loop and then it will carry on underneath the loop in whatever code you've got coming next. Selection is a bit trickier. Selection is where you can have a condition, and if that condition is true, the program will do one thing, and if the condition is false, the program will do another thing. We call this if, then, else when we do coding. Let's take a look at how we can use selection to make sure that our character doesn't walk through the walls. Okay, so now you know all about selection, we're gonna to start to use selection to make sure that our explorer cannot cross the wall. And if he even touches the wall, we're gonna make our explorer, just like in our plan, go back to the start. So here we go. We're gonna to need to tell it when this piece of code is going to run. We want it to run right from the start of the game. So again, we're gonna start off with a when the green flag is clicked. We want this bit of code to run all the way through our game. We want it to constantly be checking if our explorer is touching the wall of the maze. So we're gonna have a forever loop in. Now, because we're using selection, we need our condition. So if something, then do this. Now we don't need the else version because if he's not touching the wall, we just want him to carry on as normal. So we're going to leave the if then else and we're going to just use the if and then just like we did when we were programming the movement if then. Now because we're in the Explorer sprite we can say if he's touching the wall then go back to the start. Now we know the coordinates for back to the start because we've got it up here. Minus 200 and minus 138. If we go to the motion block and press the green flag, those coordinates should go into the go to block. So we can drag that straight in. But hang on, when do we want that to happen? We want it to happen if he's touching this wall. Touching is a form of sensing. So we're gonna to go to the sensing blocks. Now you'll notice because this is an entire background and not just one sprite, or this wall isn't part of a sprite by itself, the way that we're gonna do this is by touching the color. Now this will only work if all of the walls on your maze are the same color. So we're gonna drag that into there. So if touching color, then go to the start position. But we need to make this color exactly the same as the walls in our maze. The way to do that is to click on the color, click on the dropper, and then move over the one of the walls. Make sure that the dropper is in the center, not on the edge, because it gets a little bit gray on the edge, right in the center of that wall. 
There we go. So if touching color black, then go to minus 100, minus 138. If we now click the green flag, we can test that out. Off we go. Using the arrow keys, turning the corner, and if I bump into that wall, there he goes. He's back to the start again. And similarly, oh, even if I brush past it really closely, I will get sent back to the start. Oh, there we go. It was so quick that time. So now we actually have a bit of a challenge to get our character through the maze and all the way to the finishing point. 